What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well in today's video we are going over Solana as I do believe that we are seeing more and more bullishness and we're seeing more and more indicators so that it could be a good buying opportunity. So with that being said of course let's go ahead let's skip the BS let's skip the fluff and let's get straight into the good stuff. So what we're seeing from Solana right now is of course a pretty solid four to five days of green and growth right. Now in the last video we were tracking what we called a bullish flag and which did look like a reversal pattern to me. I said if we do get the break out here what you can expect is a back testing of support and at that point i think it could be a nice little short-term buying opportunity now from there of course we have seen the growth of about 6.8 to about seven percent or so and of course if you did watch that video you'd have probably took profits around that 200 level as that's where i said i thought it would go and so due to that of course if you did get in on that little short-term game there big congrats to you i hope you did enjoy now you know of course now that that's been a good gain and you know we did see the execution on that move we can't at any given point see a red you know a little bit of a retracement or a little bit of a pullback here but i am under the belief that we are seeing growing bullishness for solana and i wanted to talk about what indicators are showing bullishness and what it means for us and how we can go about it so the biggest thing that i'm watching for right now is that we come back up and we clear this key level right here where we saw this double layer of resistance right around 200 uh 203 dollars and 86 cents now what that means for us is that if we're able to do this that means that we're just simply continuing to set new local highs of course we did come back up and clear this previous high in which we set here but realistically i would like to see that we're able to go back up and clear where we were traced to and where we established a strong level of resistance at 203 dollars in this scenario in which we clear 203 and get a daily close above it i do believe that we will start to see more growth to the upside even if it is followed by a bit of a retracement i am under the belief that that will kind of confirm that our uptrend is starting and so we need to be keeping a very close eye on that now some of the bullish indicators that do support that thesis is going to be the fact that we are starting to see these emas moving bullish again now what that means is that as we did see the downtrend beginning many of our emas especially our 20 and our 50 here did see these death crosses in which your short time your shorter time frame ema goes through the downside of your longer ema for example this 20 went down through the 50 that's bearish but what we can see is that as we have been seeing a bit of a return or a bit of a reversal that has led our 20 and our 50 to converge again and if we do get about you know maybe two or three more days of positive growth it does seem as if we will get that bullish move back to the upside for our emas now looking at something on a longer time frame to support more of a long-term move we can take a look at our rsi now something that i noticed from our rsi that is extremely important is the fact that we came down to back test our 20 ema which has served as very important in the past to um, allow us to see growth again but as that did happen we also saw bullish divergence forming you can see here that we went and set this low on the price we came up to set a higher low and on the same time frame we set a low and a lower low on our rsi so whenever you combine a back testing of support with bullish divergence that is a perfect formula and a perfect combination to see some absolutely immense growth which definitely could lead to a new all-time high now the last thing that i do want to look at is how we're interacting with our bollinger bands and you can also see that we did resort back to our moving average and are in position to start to make a move back to the upside remember when tracking your bollinger bands especially on a longer time frame whenever they have this moving average these bollinger bands are simply going to be two standard deviations away from your moving average and what it means is that your cryptocurrency that you are tracking will typically only standard deviate away from a moving average two times to the top of your bollinger band envelope or two times to the bottom of your Bollinger Band envelope before eventually having to resort back to its moving average. And so as it does start to get extended, as we saw here, we are always under the belief that at some given point, it is going to return to its moving average. But once it returns to its moving average, it is then in position to see another move, another two standard deviations, either to the upside or to the downside. Currently speaking, our upside looks like a possible move towards $265, which could allow us to see a new all-time high. Now, last but not least, if we do go down to some of the shorter time frames, one thing we can see as well is that we are still feeling real bullish on our uh, MACD, which is going to, of course, just always be important in terms of overall momentum. As we can see, we are still in a general uptrend on the four hour time frames on our MACD here. And then looking at something like the daily MACD, you can also see that we are working our way back up towards bullish territory, which realistically means with all of this room to the upside, we could still see a pretty significant move before we start to see, of course, that bearish momentum kick in so all of that to say that it does seem as if things are looking extremely extremely bullish now do be aware that we very well could start to see at any given point a retracement after this big growth that we did see 
The reason that I say that is because looking at something like our RSI, we need to be very aware that this thing is moving a little bit fast. Okay, so with this bullish momentum, we need to be aware of the bear side as well. Now, what we can see is that as we did set this high up here, I mean, this is a pretty high high. We're looking at $245. We did set a high on our RSI towards, you know, 57 to 60. Looking at where we are in terms of price in relation to where we are in terms of the RSI, we are seeing this thing moving a little bit quick. Now, what usually happens is that if we start to see the price of the um, you know, your price of your crypto not recapturing its previous high just yet, but your RSI setting a new higher high, that's going to be bearish divergence, and that's typically followed by a nice retracement to allow it to correct itself before seeing the move to the upside. So do be aware that although we are looking good for long term continuation on the short term, we definitely can be looking at some type of, you know, uh, 10, 15 percent pullback at any given point here. Now, we also can support that by looking just in terms of our waves. What we can see is that we, of course, did see, of course, an ABC correction back here. So let's go ahead and let's just get this all put in. So we saw this ABC correction, of course, your A, your B, your C. Coming off an ABC correction, of course, we know that Elliott's wave theory says that these things tend to move in waves of eight, which is going to be your one, two, three, four, five, then your ABC correction. So we're going to go with our one, our two, our three, our four, and our five wave to set this new all-time high. Now, remember, we said that this thing moves in waves of eight. So we have our A, our B, our C correction. So that gives us our full eight. We don't even really need this one. We can see that gives us our full eight here. This is our full eight wave. We have this big impulse. We have the move to the upside, the momentum move to the upside with the impulsive corrective wave to the downside. Now, at this point, we're looking to continue that. We're looking to start our one, two, three, four, five again. What that looks like is us putting in a one, likely seeing the corrective wave of a two back to the downside due to the bearish divergence, which we are seeing. Boom. Then we see the three. Then we see the four. Then we see the five. That's what we're starting on. So although a move back above $203 with the daily close up there will likely confirm that we are making this move, it doesn't mean that we can't see a corrective you know, move or a corrective wave happen at some point, which allows us to correct some of the bearish divergence we are seeing on the shorter time frames. So with that being said, all of this to go ahead and say that I am personally going to be picking up some more Solana in the instance in which it does close the daily candles above $203, but I am expecting that we could see a bit of a pullback at any given point, but when that pullback happens, you of course can never really know, so I'd rather get in now and slowly ladder my way in if we do see a corrective wave rather than miss the bus completely and it goes at a new all-time high. So with that being said, of course, that is going to be about it for today's video. I hope you guys were able to learn something about how I look at these things, how I think about these things. And if you did find this video valuable, all I ask is that you just drop a like so even more people will see it. But with that being said, of course, I will see you all very soon in the next video. Have a good day. Peace.